What's going on guys? GeoSnowRate here. So in today's video, I'm going to compile the entire information base that we've acquired during this week in order to create a bigger picture of what is happening right now on the jailbreak community because some important things have happened ever since I created my uh, last jailbreak status video which was one week ago. In this video when I made it, uh, I mean a week ago, the uh, important things were the fact that Pangu is going to be at Mosaic Mobile Security Conference, a uh, security conference they are also organizing. And uh, there was a new iPhone 7 substrate fix and the jailbreak me fix for the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak by Pangu that is actually expiring soon. So nothing really important had happened at that point, but during the week something very important has happened. Probably you do not know or probably you know because it was all over the internet, but Pangu has demoed this, which is the iOS 10.3.1 iPhone 7 jailbreak, uh, and it was demoed on the scene, as you can see from here, at the Janus conference, according to the uh, banner in here, and as you can see from Spark's photos, uh, it was actually a mobile security and threat intelligence platform release. Then uh, it was also presenting here, you can, um, you can see, but the important fact is that this is a real legit jailbreak. I know a lot of people are talking about it right now, but who the hell wouldn't? because it's the first time we hear about Pangu jailbreaking something in a very long while. And um, according to the uh, screenshot in here, the application is pretty much simple. If you ask me, by the looks of it, it looks like a, like a tethered jailbreak or semi-tethered jailbreak, like the Yalu, because it's starting from an application. But Pangu is very smart and I know that they probably can uh, at some point untether this if they have the right exploits at hand. So well, well, what is important about this? Well, the important factor is that it's a uh, demo jailbreak, not a released one yet, and there are rumors that actually say Pangu is going to jailbreak or is actually going to release this jailbreak the next week. I personally do not believe them and I personally wait for Pangu. Pangu did not actually say they're going to release anything, neither Spark said, so um, therefore I would definitely wait for Pangu to say something publicly, but the simple fact that a jailbreak exists for the iOS 10.3.1 and the iPhone 7, keep in mind the Yalu wasn't able to jailbreak iOS 10.2 on the iPhone 7 due to the KPP bypass missing. And um, the KPP, meaning the kernel patch protection, apparently has been, uh, has, hasn't been a problem for Pangu. Well, what, it, what is important is that we already demoed this, um, this tool that was actually presented on the scene at Janus on this video in here. So if you missed this video that I made four days ago, you should probably check it out. It's going to be, of course, in the description down below. But because the interface was very simple, as you can see from this image in here, only um, it only resembles the, uh, the previous one of uh, Pangu, then a lot of fake things have appeared during the same week. So we have fake iOS 10.3.1 uh, IPAs for jailbreaking that are supposedly created by Pangu. I made this video a day ago and um, in that video I addressed how easy can somebody create a fake IPA to look like Pangu jailbreak in order to actually profit on the fact that people do know how the jailbreak will look like because of the screenshot in here that is gone viral. Now. Um, the problem is that uh, this guy in here, Mason, has created a, an IPA, a fake IPA, just as a proof of concept, do not get me wrong, he's not trying to fool anybody, it's just a proof of concept, in which he shows how easily can somebody create a uh, fake Pangu IPA just to fool people around and, believe me or not, this can easily be backed up as a malware and uh, to look, of course, like Pangu's jailbreak. They can also create a jailbreak that is actually uh, Yalu at its essence, but it looks like Pangu. It has this interface in here, but of course created for maliciously um, crafted purposes. So please make sure you're, you're not installing any leaked IPAs. There have been a couple of them in the, in the past days, and of course, um, because, of, because of the fact that Pangu released the uh, information about their interface, there are probably going to be more. And as you can see, his um, proof of concept in here just says, don't fall for leaked IPAs. But um, a malware IPA might not be that nice with you uh, next time, so make sure you're not actually installing those fake IPAs. Pangu hasn't released anything yet, J they just demoed it, and therefore you should not trust anything. We discussed in this um, in this video in here that is important for you to save the blobs, and I made this video 14 hours ago because I'm trying to actually 
push these videos faster so that you can save your blobs. Because the next thing that we're concerned is the iOS 10.3.2 release. Now, Pangu might have jailbroken the uh, iOS 10.3.1, but iOS doesn't stay still. iOS moves, iOS gets updated. So uh, iOS 10.3.2 is already a beta 5, uh, as far as I know, and therefore it means that Apple is going to quickly release iOS 10.3.2 and from what I know iOS 10.3 and 10.3.1 are the only versions supported by Pangos jailbreak and therefore if you're planning to jailbreak you should probably save your blobs. I already already made this tutorial which is available in the description in which I detailed how you can do that but also to make a quick note about it, you can go on tssaver.onecanon.com and Canon did a very good job with this website. You can definitely save it by using your ACID and selecting your device. And then if you want to check the blobs to make sure they're correct, you can click in here, go ahead on the checker and it's going to be able to select a blob and check it for, I don't know, its consistency, its... Um, its actual parameters inside it and so on to make sure it's going to work with your thing. Now, Timstar has confirmed that the Prometheus method is not actually patched and also he confirms uh, the fact that it works on um, iPhone 6 and above, which means that it breaks down any um, rumor about Prometheus method only working on iPhone 5s. Therefore, you should definitely save your blobs right now. But again, I've been talking about this uh, topic more in depth in this video in here and in this one in here. Both of them in the description down below. So definitely check them out if you didn't yet. It's very important. You might not be able to jailbreak in the future or you might lose it if you do not save your blobs. And the next thing I would like to discuss is, um, is about the fact that Pangu themselves are just concerned for the moment about their tool. So do not expect a release for the moment. Nobody say they're going to release it except the fakers and therefore you should not believe something like, I don't know, they're going to release it in two weeks or they're going to release it in one week. Let's just wait for Pangu to do their job. Uh, at some point on the channel, if I think, if I sense something happening, I'm going to tell you to update to 10.3.1, but uh, for the moment do not update. A lot of people are asking me, should I update? I'm on 10.2.1 or I'm on 10.2 or 10.3, should I update? Uh, yes, you should update if you're on 10.3 because yeah i don't think that um but I, but uh, if you if you keep in mind iOS 10.3 and 10.3.1 are both uh, supported as far as i know but yes it's safe if you're on iOS 10.3 to migrate to 10.3.1 but if you're on 10.2.1 do not update for the moment a lot of people are asking me that so no just don't for the moment uh, I'm going to tell you on the channel, so make sure to subscribe and activate that bell to actually receive the notification because I'm going to tell you uh, to do so, but I'm going to do that when I sense something or when the iOS 10.3.1 becomes in danger of being unsigned. So make sure you get that notification is going to mean the... Um, the jailbreak or not jailbreak for your device. So keep that in mind. And for the moment, the current news to, to reiterate them and to recap them at the end of this video, Pangu has demoted jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1 where 100% sure it's legit. They're going to also be at Mosaic, so probably they're going to either um, demo that in depth if, if they're not going to release it soon, or probably they're going to uh, present more information about it in other conferences. Then, an important factor is to save your blobs. A lot of people do not know how to save them, so I made a video and it's available in the description down below. Saving the blobs allow you to downgrade in the future and that's, that is going to be very important. And the second, uh, sorry, and the third and the most important thing, fake IPAs with the uh, supposed Pangu jailbreak have appeared and therefore you should be very careful on what are you installing. For the moment, Pangu hasn't released any IPA and therefore you should not install anything that claims to be the Pangu jailbreak, as it's not. Till the next time, do not forget, subscribe to stay updated. I will keep you updated on anything that happens. As you can see, from a week to another, everything changes and therefore we need to stay updated. I'm Geosnow, stay safe and peace out.